Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're doing a tutorial on the jumper effect in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection. Let's get into it. First and foremost, you need the tripod when you do the shot. You need to take your shot of your talent doing its first move, then a shot of the area with nothing in it, nothing going on for maybe 5-10 seconds, don't need too long. And then another shot of your talent doing the second move where they're coming back onto the scene. Once you do that, you need to bring your clips down into the timeline and you need to start splitting them up to positions where it will look like the individuals coming onto the screen, disappearing and coming back onto the screen. Now this effect is kind of just like the teleport effect, but with a little bit extra flair using a Red Giant Shine. So I'm going to move my scrubber to a position where the individual is on the scene and in his position and stopped. And I'm going to split the clip here. Don't need that first part, so I'm going to remove it. Now, you might want to stretch your timeline out here because you want to be really precise on where you do your splits and your cuts and stuff. So I'm going to stretch my timeline out and I'm going to move the scrubber forward to a position where I want the individual to disappear off the screen. That looks like a good position for me. Right where the individual is up before it starts coming down. So I'm going to split the clip here. I'm bring my timeline back down. And I'm going to move this forward to a position where there's nothing in the scene. I'm going to split the clip here, right click, and delete. And then I'm going to let it play for about, I don't know, four or five seconds. And I'll split the clip again. Because you don't want it to be too long between the individual leaving the screen and coming back on. So four seconds is more than enough. Now I'm going to move to the end where the individual comes back onto the scene. I think I like it right there, so I'm gonna split the clip here. I'm gonna right click on this part because I don't need it. I'm gonna hit delete. And now you'll see that what happens is the individual is on the screen, he disappears, and he comes back on. A few seconds. I'm going to split my clip here for the end. Right click on this and delete it. Now that I have all of that set up, just a few easy little things I need to do. I know a lot of you don't like keyframing, but I've been trying to teach you how to do it. I'm going to continue to teach you how to do it until you guys are pros at it. So this needs the shine effect. So I'm going to right click on the first clip because this is a clip where he's going to disappear. I'm going to go to Open Effects Toolbox, 
Go to Red Giant, Trap Coat Shine. Go to Shine, hit OK. Now, I'm gonna choose a preset called HD Shimmer Aura. And I'm gonna go down to Colorize and I'm gonna change it to None. I'm gonna leave the Transfer Mode on Normal. First thing I need to do is I need to get the center right over the subject so it looks like the light is emanating from them. So you gotta go to your source point X and source point Y, put in the correct parameters for that. I already know where mine needs to be because of course I've done this already. You will probably have to do a little bit more tinkering than I need to do right now. Now you wanna bring your ray light for the first part to zero. You know what, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put it in the first position. We're gonna make it 0 0.5. All right. And we're gonna make our shimmer, let's make it 31.46. Gonna change the boost to 0 0.22. And we're going to change the shine opacity to 80.89. All right, so now I'm going to click use keyframes. Now what happens is the first keyframe and the last keyframe are now exactly the same. All right. So my last keyframe, I know I want to be different and I want my first keyframe to be different too. So the first keyframe, I actually want everything on zero because I don't want to show anything yet. So I'm going to move the ray light, the shimmer amount, the boost light down to zero. I can leave the shine opacity where it is. Then I'm going to go, I'm going to go hit this button. It's going to move me to the last keyframe. And I'm going to go about seven keyframes in. And I'm going to add a keyframe. And this keyframe is gonna match the first keyframe. So what I have to do is change the parameters on here to what I want them to be. Matter of fact, let's go seven more in. And I'm gonna add a keyframe here. Now why I'm doing that is because I want nothing to show up on the shine from keyframe one to keyframe two. You can see on here, this is keyframe two and I still have no shine. Even on keyframe three right now, I have no shine. But I'm gonna change that because I want it to quickly jump onto the screen. And when that happens, the screen's actually gonna move a little bit because the shine actually has a little bit of motion to it. So it's gonna make it look more realistic. So I'm gonna do the same thing on my ray length. I'm gonna go to 0 0.50. Shimmer amount, I'm gonna do 31.46. Boost light, I'm gonna take that up to 0 0.22. And I'm gonna leave the shine opacity where it is. Now what this does is now, I'm gonna go from nothing to something here, but I want my last keyframe to actually be really bright. So I'm gonna step forward to the last keyframe. I'm gonna make that even brighter. I'm gonna change my ray length up to 2.19, I'm gonna change my shimmer amount up to 100. I'm gonna change my boost light up to 1.51. We're gonna leave the shine opacity where it is. Now what that does is it, make a, it makes a big jump between these two keyframes. So what'll happen is you'll see nothing, then you'll see it slowly go up and then a big jump up to where he disappears from the screen, which makes it look very realistic. So we're done with that one. Now we need to make him appear with light too. So we're gonna go to the last piece where the individual comes back onto the scene. We're gonna right click on it, open effects toolbox, red giant trap, sh trap code shine, shine, and then hit okay. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate 
one of our keyframes on here that we know we're going to need. Once again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to preset, HD shimmer aura. We're going to change the colorize to none. We're going to do our source. Of course, like I said, you're going to need to do more than I do on this because I know where I want the individual to be already because I've done it already. And we're going to start off with the ray length at 2.9, 2.19. Do our shimmer at 100. Boost light at 1.51. And shadow opacity 80.89. Now what this will do is, because we're going to create a keyframe here again, it's going to make it come on to the screen at its brightest point. It's like we had it before. So now what we're going to do. So we're going to once again move forward. About seven keyframes. Or seven frames. Let's go back here. I'm going to click on use keyframes. Now we got two keyframes here. I'm going to go in seven. I'm going to click on add keyframe. And this keyframe, we're going to go ahead and change the parameters because we know it's the one where we want it to come down quickly. So our ray length on this one is going to be 0 0.50. Shimmer amounts going to be 31.46. Boost light, we're going to change that to 0 0.22. And we'll leave the shadow opacity at 80.89. Then we're going to move seven more keyframes in. Seven more frames in. I'm going to add another keyframe. We're going to bring everything down to zero. And then we're going to click on the arrow here to go to the last keyframe. And you'll see it matched the first keyframe from before. So we got to change everything on this one down to zero as well. And we're done. That's it. How to do the jumper effect. In Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection HD. Now, my peoples, help me out here. Hit the likey button, the button that says like, the thumb that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Just do what you gotta do for me. And leave your comments. You know, I love it when you leave me comments because I always get back to you when you leave me a comment, so you know I must like it. And, you know, do me a favor. Share this video. Share it across YouTube. Share it on the social network. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Google+. Plus. Share it on Twitter. I don't care. Just share it. Let people know what I'm doing. Let people know if they're using Pinnacle. If they're using Cyberlink. You know, whatever. Adobe. I can help them out. Send those videos out there. Share them with your friends. Share them with the public. And I'll be able to help everybody out with them. And last, but definitely not least... Don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.